Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Miguel. Good to see you again. How are you? Hello, hello, Miguel. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Eli. Welcome back. Eli, can you hear me? No, no. Wait a minute. All right. Hi. Sorry, I had the audio deactivated. <laughs> All right. No problem, sir. It's okay, man. How are you? How was your Hello. day today? How's your Friday going? Fine, I think, probably. It's good? Mm -hmm. All right. I was doing well in an animation I was working on. At the oh, release. really? Can you animate for real? A little. Have you ever done pixel art? Yep. It's, can you, well, can you start off can, in pixel art then. Can you animate sprites? Yep, I actually yeah. have like four, no, quite a few years in my belt of practice for that. Hey, that's awesome, man. We should uh, build a video game then. <laughs> I, 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 made a, I, um, I made a video game once. Um, I actually have made a few, but nothing really big. Really? Mm-hmm. In what language or what what graphic uh, what graphic engine are uh, have you been using? Um, Game Maker Studio. Oh, I I actually did that. Okay, yeah, I use code though. I, I didn't use like the the you know the inner the drag and drop interface. I actually um, coded it. Do you know how to GML. code? Yeah, in GML exactly. So the Yes. It, was, it was years ago, though. <laughs> hey, that's cool, man. That's cool. Have you ever thought about doing something like, like you know, um, something that, something like for life or, you know, maybe a career on that? Sort of, but, well, getting one, in the long run. getting something big done, it's not really easy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but you don't need, necessarily need to do something really, really big. You just need to do something mm -hmm. like very catchy. That's what you need to do. You know, All right? Very good. If you're gonna, if you get a message right now, guys, that's because I'm sending a message to everybody, not directly to you. All right. Um, I know that. Um, I know that uh, Idalia and and um, and Lydia have uh, other meetings, but. Hopefully, you know, they join with their cell phones. All right, guys. So, uh, welcome back, guys. What about you, Ellie? How was your day? Good, teacher. I didn't do anything today. You didn't do anything today? No. Oh, uh, look at you. No. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, the, can you... Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Miguel. <laughs> ¿Cómo se llama? Eh? Mm -hmm. No, ¿cómo se llama? No, sp no Spanish. Spanish satanic, right? What is your name? No. Uh, I don't remember what is the password of the platform. Plat platform. Uh, I have, I think it's in your, in your email, right? Yeah, but yep. uh, I, no. I, I don't have access right now. Oh, you don't I, have access. Okay. We, we, ha we all have a, a generic password. So okay. I don't remember. I even trying yeah. with one, two, three, four. But right. <laughs> Let me check. It's all okay. right. Mail. I need to open it first, but 
dude, it's just, I don't know. This um, nope. this month it's has one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's it try that. Let's try the that numbers fast. from one to five. <clears throat> Maybe you can write me a letter. It's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the... I'm trying. <clears throat> I'm trying again. Three, four, five. Six. Unless you change it. Mm, no. No. Then you this probably change. It. Oh my God! This account has been temporarily locked. Do to access the uh -huh. logos failures. Try okay, again. yeah, you tried too many, too many times, so he locked you out. <clears throat> All right, uh, I guess you will have to wait, or otherwise, uh, try to get in contact with Jason so he can help yeah. you out with that. All right. Okay. All right, very good, guys. All right, anyways, guys, so let's move on. Uh, let's continue where we left off yesterday. We got a lot of, uh, a lot of things to cover today. All right. Very good, guys. So quick review. Uh. Jesus Christ, I only have two of you. All right. <laughs> this is a big class. This is a big class, yeah. Yeah, so we're missing, we're missing Italia, we're missing Lydia, and we're missing who else? <laughs> What's the, the other person? We are special, man. Wait, Italia, Italia, and, and, and Lydia, and who else? Do we have another one? No, right? No. No, is it only like four? Is, was it only four? No, we have five. Nelly, Nelly, there you go. Yeah, I have. I, I have no idea. All right, very good, guys. So, uh, let's continue where we left off yesterday, okay? Right. So, uh, let's get some practice, guys. Before we move on, uh, remember, guys. Give me an example of a conjunction, Miguel. A conjunction? Yes. Uh, um, but? But, okay, right? That's a conjunction for exception or contrast? Or can it be used for both? Exception. Okay. Okay, very good, okay. Uh, give me give me a conjunction for contrast, Ellie. Me? Yes. For contrast? Yes. Okay. Maybe I I don't pay attention yesterday because I was working, but um, uh, <laughs> I was trying to look something about this and what I I have understood about contrast is something like um, but I just I maybe I use but but Miguel uh, um used this before so I don't know if you you can explain a little more. All right. There you go, Miguel. Explain. A contest, well, contrast is basically when there, when two ideas are opposite to to each other. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 I have understood. I have understood that, but about connectors, what what words I can use? I, well, I have no idea. What worse? Okay, very good. All right, so let's, let's, let's do a quick review, okay? All right, so for conjunctions, okay? All right, to show contrast, we use while, unlike, or in contrast to, right? So okay. very good. All right, Miguel, uh, give us an example, and then uh, Ellie, give me another example so we can be on the same page. Well... Actually, I have an idea right now, but let's see. Okay. <clears throat> the last time well, I was... I'll... Go ahead. Go ahead, Eli. The students understand the, understood the professor... Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> the students understood the professor clearly while he was demonstrating the process. That's, that's, that's right. That, okay, well, I mean, that's that's one of the uses for the 
conjunction while. while, although you're not using it as a concept. While. All right. Uh, give us an. All right. So let, let Miguel give us an example, and uh, and then you follow his example. Okay. Well, I still don't have an idea for an example right now. This sentence itself is an example. Okay. Well, I don't have an idea, right? Well, I don't have an idea. Um, well, example right now. I'll show them. This sentence okay. itself is an example. All right. Very good. Okay. All right, so let's let's have another one with uh, unlike Ellie. So for example, I can say uh, unlike you, I am wearing a gray uh, a gray shirt, right? So because you might not be wearing a gray shirt, got it? Okay, so give us your your example. I'm trying to think, but unlike you, um, uh -huh. I. I have not understand the topic yet. Very good, okay. Unlike you, I didn't understand the topic yet, okay? Yeah. We need to move on though. I know that you were working yesterday, but we need to move on, all right? Very good, guys, okay. All right, so we're gonna talk, guys, okay? Uh, I want you to, uh, let's get some practice, guys. So you're gonna talk about something that interests you, but not other people okay, cool. and why, okay? So for example, you can say uh, something that interests me, uh, but not other, other people is um, you can say programming um, I don't know programming video games for example Miguel yeah. right? or like designing designing, uh, nice. <laughs> designing video game characters okay unlike other people I'm very interested in designing video game characters um, you can also say for example um, but other people are not interested in designing video games, I am interested in designing them, okay? All right, so let's get to practice, guys. Let me hear you, all right? So what is something that interests you but not other the people and why? Well, Miguel. In contrast to my interest in playing Dungeons and Dragons, the majority of people I know doesn't even have an idea of what it is. Yes, I don't have any. Right. <laughs> just, just have, just have a regular conversation, right? You don't need to just use sentences, right? You can have a regular conversation. Oh. Uh, uh huh. Okay. Oh, I mean, okay. tell, tell us why you know you're not interested in that. Well, it's a tabletop game where you use dice to basically, well. Tell a story in, in a group of people. So it's sort of a role-playing game. In this case, a tabletop role-playing game. How about you, Ellie? Anything that interests you but not others? What I dress. Mm -hmm. What I dress, do you say? Interests you. Oh. <laughs> Something that I interest. Mm. Mm. I used to. I need to. I need to use that kind of for <laughs> while I'm in life. I, I mean, just answer That's the question. Uh, it will come out naturally. Okay. Um. I don't know. Um. I like to think I'm special, but I think I'm not, <laughs> but. <laughs> Why do you say so? <laughs> Everybody is special. Trust me. Everybody. I'm not. We all have I'm... our own madness. <laughs> okay. Um, I like to do things that other people doesn't like, like um, to be thinking all the time. <clears throat> there is a people that sometimes ask Ask me why I like to study, and I just I don't know what what to what to reply, what what to answer, what what kind of answer. Just to answer, give. just answer, right? Answer just, to just give. Answer. Well, so just answer with honesty. Uh, I, so you like and I cannot, but most people And I cannot believe what what they are saying. So. I know. I don't know if it's a 
kind of stuff that everybody doesn't like or I don't know. Yeah, right, continue. Oh. You're doing good. Continue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But about um about my stuff or <laughs> what is something that interests you but not other people and why? Okay. Um, do you like some food that most people don't? Like super spicy food or stuff like that? I like spicy but not super spicy. So I'm not <laughs> I'm not I'm gonna say it again. I'm not a special on that. Um I like what I do. I like to feel people good. I like to do knives, I like to paint, I like to learn and I know there is people like me that I I think painting, huh? Eh? Yeah. Talk, talk more okay. about you. you. You can express you yourself <laughs> better than me. That painting is something that a lot of people don't really like to do. Trust Maybe. me. <laughs> Maybe. So if, you have, if you like to paint, there's something that does interest you, but it yeah. doesn't interest yeah. others. Yeah, maybe I like to do micro painting and, and maybe, yeah, maybe not, not to all the world like to do that. Teacher. Continue, continue. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can explain me a little more about the topic because I yesterday I didn't come. I finished the work and the platform, but right. but I I think it was pretty easy to. But um, I did not understand it. Don't worry. I, right now, yeah. just keep talking. Uh, the whole class has been uploaded to YouTube, so you can rewatch mm -hmm. the whole class from yesterday. Right, I upload the class oh. every day, so you can watch the whole class from yesterday. So we I can... forget. Yes, we do I have we do have a YouTube channel, right? <laughs> okay. So, so don't worry. It's hard your... to find it, the videos, but yeah, I can see the there. videos. Yes, but it's there. It's there every every single day. If you want, I'll send you the link today, um, so so you can rewatch it, and you can watch the whole class from yesterday. All right. The thing is that I would love to, but remember that we need to move on, right? Um, mm -hmm. We need to move on with the class, and that's why. But right now, just practice, okay? I'm just, I just, I'm just um, writing down your areas of opportunity, all right? So let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Somebody's trying to get in so far. In over... right. I'm going to send. All right, continue, guys. Continue, all right? You guys continue. Any movie? Yes, continue. Any movies that you know and like, but know a lot of people don't. For mm. example, in my case, I really love. Um, let's see. One is called The Life of Brian. Uh, uh -huh. There's also, as I mentioned before, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. But I hardly know anybody who likes them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay, very good. All right, Idalia. Hello, Idalia. Welcome back. Idalia. Oh, Idalia is working. Idalia is working. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, I think she was in a test. Yes. All right. Thank you for coming, Idalia. All right. Very good, guys. All right. So uh, let's move on, guys. Very good job. Uh, just one thing, okay? Uh, hi, hi, Dale. All right. So, just one thing, guys. Remember. Uh, yeah, I, I, under, I know, I know, Dale. No more, okay. Thank you for being here. All right, guys. So, uh, I like to feel people good. I think that you wanted to. The, the order of the idea here is incorrect because I think that you wanted to say I like to make people, right? Yeah. I like to make. No. To make like this. People. I like to make people feel good okay very good all right so this is how you would say it i like to make people feel feel good all right okay 
the other way it may have been misunderstood in a not so nice way <laughs> uh, ex yes exactly <laughs> Oh, very good, okay. Yes, that's that's a different idea, right? So I like to make people feel good is the way I want to say. All right, very good. Welcome, Lydia. I know that you you you're uh, you're doing a test too, so don't worry. Okay, guys. So uh, moving on, guys. Okay, we're gonna talk about different type of student profiles. All right, so let's get some vocabulary out of the way. All right, Miguel, help me read the first adjectives, okay? Uh that word, the first word, I actually have an idea how to pronounce it. Okay. Amenable. Repeat. Am, everybody repeat. Amenable. 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 Okay. So amenable. Uh-huh. Conservative. Uh-huh. Nonconformist, rebellious, and conventional. Okay. All right. Very good. Repeat, guys. Conservative. 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 All right. Conservative. 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 All right, remember to buy, to buy, okay, that V, guys, at the end is not B, right? The T is like a, a V. It's a V sound, right? It's, okay, you have to, it's it's a labial and dental sound, right? V, all right, you have to buy your, 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 your uh, lower lips. So it goes like this, okay? Conservative. Mm, conservative. Repeat conservative. 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 All right, very good. Nonconformist. Nonconformist. Non -con uh, all right, nonconformist, right? Actually, it's nonconformist, okay? The intonation is different. I'm sorry. All right, everybody repeat. Nonconformist. Nonconformist. Very good, okay? Rebellious. Rebellious. All right, unconventional. Unconventional. Un unconventional, okay? That's a short sound, guys, okay? The pronunciation is uh. Right, it's like the rapper sound. Mm -hmm. Remember the rapper sound? Uh, uh, right? Unconventional. All right, very good. All right, guys. So, okay, so these are verbs. Okay, so these are adjectives, guys, for mm -hmm. accepting things as they are or making changes, okay? All right, very good. So, any questions regarding the adjectives, guys? Any any yeah. adjective that you are not sure about? Uh, amendable. I don't know. Amenable? Okay. All right. What do you think amenable is, guys? It's usually used for somebody friendly or a friendly attitude, as far okay. as I know. Okay. Uh, amenable, guys. Okay. Amenable means someone who can be control controlled easily. Like gullible. Do you know what gullible means? Uh, gullible, yes. All right. So gullible, for example, right? So it's it's kind of it's a synonym for uh, gullible. Okay. So it's someone who can be easily persuaded. Uh, do you think, Ellie, that you're some someone amenable? I can't hear you well right now. Do you think I that you are you someone amenable? I don't know what amenable mm, means. Not animal. Okay. <laughs> Not any Amenable, okay. <laughs> Amenable means I don't know. All right, Miguel, and what I, is it? I, I, okay, right, Miguel. On. Miguel knows now. Okay, explain this. Somebody thing. who's easy to lead easy, on. Easy to, easy to what? Persuade. You know persuade. what persuasion is? Yeah. All right. So it's someone he's easy to persuade. So do you think that you're someone amenable? I don't consider that. Okay, all right. What do you think, Miguel? In my case, I think I am sort of easy to persuade if I am presented enough evidence uh, for the idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good. <laughs> mm. All right, very good, right? Conservative. What is what is being uh, what is the meaning of being conservative? I mean, so conservative. <laughs> Why? What what is that? What is someone conservative? Okay. <laughs> what I what I have understood and what I what I think. What I have understood. Repeat what I what have I understood. Have, what I have understood. Uh -huh. I, I didn't want to use those word again because I have been using this all the class. So. All right, very good. Uh-huh. Um I, what I have understood understood by or or for <laughs> conservative. 
is a person who who has um a big mor moral moral I don't know. moral yeah i think mm. i'm that's the, that's not the that's not the real meaning of someone <laughs> okay it's the, it's okay the, that, <laughs> what do you think most Explain. people like that tend to be conservative <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you think it is, Miguel? Uh, All right, let's see if Miguel knows. Miguel a conservative is like, like person? A, <laughs> a conservative person is a person whose ideas are really, really hard to change, like a very religious individual. Very good. <laughs> very good. Continue, man, continue, right? <laughs> that was like... What did he say? <laughs> Try to convince a, con a religious individual that about something that goes against the religion, and that's as a conservative person. You can't. <laughs> very okay. good. Very good. Okay, you got it, Ellie? Yeah. So it's someone who is not willing to change. Okay. Okay. Someone close minded. All right, got it? Got okay. it. All right, very good. So are you conservative? Are you conservative? Are you like, you know? Mm, I'm not sure. All right, all right. That's okay. Very honest answer. <laughs> All right, non non conformist guys. What is what is that? A non conformist person. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, but I, I okay that one, Miguel. All right, let's go, Miguel. Let, Google, let's go. <laughs> Mister Google. All right, let's somebody go. who doesn't really accept the norm. Very good uh, job. Now, actually, actually, no, that would be someone more like rebellious. I think that you got the idea, but you did not know how to express how to express it. A rebellious person is someone who takes that to the extreme. Okay, no, but non -conf Okay, and uh, a non a non conformist person. What do you think that is? A non conformist person. A non conformist like, person, guys, is the opposite of a conformist person. Okay, a conformist person. They are never happy. Well, a conformist, a conformist person is happy, well, not really happy, but accepts anything, right? I mean, I don't know mm -hmm. if, if you, if you <laughs> have like, for example, it would, it, for a conformist person, being rich is not something that matters too much, yeah. right? Because as long as they have enough money to eat or enough money to uh, enough money to take care of their family, they would be absolutely okay, right? Uh, they 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 don't they don't try to you know to reach for more opportunities uh, to grow as individuals, you know, um, in their workplaces and such. So that's a non-conformist person. Is that clear, Ellie? Yeah. Very good. Okay, rebellious, rebellious. Okay, Miguel explaining right. Rebellious is like going against the the you know the the mainstream rules right being against like the norms right unconventional what is unconventional who's wh who's someone un unconventional all right let's go mr google <laughs> that's unconventional all right so who's someone unconventional unconventional <laughs> thing or individual is somebody weird. Okay, very good. Unconventional is someone who is not, you know, someone unique, right? That's someone unconventional, right? Very good. All right, now uh, let's talk about verbs, guys, okay? Now, take, check this out, guys. In the verb sections, we're not gonna have verbs only, right? We're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have some phrasal verbs as well, okay? Accept, okay? What is the meaning of accept? To accept something is to, yeah, all right, to accept something is to be okay with something. To be okay with something. Okay, I couldn't have said it better, man. That's, all right, that's, that's exactly the words that I was looking for. All right, that, you, uh, that you're okay, you know, with, with things, that you agree with things, right? What is um, conform to? What conform do you think that to, is? Conform to a situation or... Very good. Okay, related right. related to a situation, right? Related to something. Okay? okay. What is the meaning of confront? Um, to confront is to go against the, the a situation or something. 
okay to be like against right to to uh to be against the situation all right okay. or or an opinion thing things like that all right uh a rebel what is a rebel Again, okay. rebel. I think. All right, rebel against, right? Okay, very good, guys. Okay, so notice that, guys, that on the right side, okay, you have the adjective and you got the verb, right? All right. Uh, basically, the 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 verb for accept for amenable, all right. Um, for amenable, I'm sorry. I, it is acceptance, right? It's it's to accept. I'm sorry, right? Um, <clears throat> now what about Stand up, guys. Stand up two or stand up four. What is that? Two. I actually have an idea, but I can't really put it into words. All right, guys. Right now, now uh, here, guys, I'm gonna give an example because um, this one is this one is a little bit different. Okay. All right. So here, guys. Okay. Here, uh, the example that we got, guys, is okay. So stand up for me. Okay. For example, stand up to me, guys. It means to to support. Exactly. Okay, support me. This is like saying like support me. All right. All right. Stand up for me or stand up stand up to me. Okay. Same thing. All right. Now okay. phrases, guys. Be your own person. What do you think the phrase "be your own person" means? You need to be yourself. Okay. All right. This is to be yourself. All right. It reminds me of a song. All right. Reminds me of persona. For. Of, of, <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good. I've never, I've, I've seen that game, but I've never played it. I, I heard it's good, right? Very good. No, I actually haven't played it either, but I know how the plot goes. Oh, okay, all right. No, I, I, it reminds me of the song from, uh, what's the name of this band, dude? It's with Chris Cornell. Chris Cornell has a song that goes like this. Uh... Jesus Christ! I was gonna say Radiohead, but it's not that. Um, never mind. But it's it's you know from Chris Cornell. All right, very good. So be your own person, right? Challenge the status quo. Okay, what is that? What do you think that is, uh, Ellie? The status quo. Mm, I don't know. All right, Miguel. Um. Well, sounds like something. Uh... A uh, hippie from the 80s will say, <clears throat> "Okay, <laughs> it's to be against what is the norm, to okay. rebel against the norm. Very good, okay, all right? So status quo, guys, is to be against the norm, right? Very good, all right. Uh, what is uh, fit in, guys? What is the meaning of fit in? I haven't explained, but in, in Spanish, so. Now, no Spanish. Miguel did it. Miguel did it. Right, English. All right, what is it? To fit, in, to, fit in, to fit in is to be like a piece in a, the, I forgot the name of that thing. Yeah. You can say Ellie, or you can say Ellie tries Oops, all right, tries to fit in uh, with her friends, okay? Got it? Mm -hmm. Fit in is uh, pretty much, guys, trying, feeling that, uh, actually it is uh, feeling that you must be part, you know, of a group. Uh, yeah, okay, so, so to, to fit in, guys, is to feel like you can participate, okay? Feel part of something, that is to fit in, got it? To yeah. feel like you're part of something, right? Follow the crowd, what do you think following the crowd is? Uh, going with um, the other one. <laughs> okay, follow the crowd is not to go with the other team, no. <laughs> follow the I mean, crowd. I, I have, <laughs> I have answer, but no, uh, no Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> no Spanish. I, I'm trying. I, I'm doing my best. So, uh, um, I think um, it's going with uh, anybody's idea. So, I I think. 
All right, to follow to follow the crowd, guys. What is it? The, no, her, her idea is close, just it's going along with the ideas of the majority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, very good. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty much following everybody's ideals, all right? Uh, following it, what everybody, yeah, everybody's ideas, I'm sorry, okay? Not ideals, mm -hmm. and ideals too, but, uh, but following what everybody thinks, you know? Ideals are ideas. All right, following the trend, okay? Following a trend, all right? That would be a good example. All right, make waves, guys. What is the meaning of make waves? What do you think? First of all, what are waves? Uh-huh. All right, to make waves, guys, is to create an impression, a significant impression, okay? What is it? Create a significant impression. Create a significant impression okay all right so you can say for example uh cheyenne right cheyenne we missed the cheyenne all right made waves <laughs> in his concerts right got it why because he made a very good impression right is that clear yeah yes okay very good guys very very good okay all right, so real quick, okay? So it's only it's only two of you uh, being able to participate. All right, so let's take a, let's take a look at the examples, guys. Okay, so what is um actually you know what? Let's let's skip this a little bit. There's an exercise, guys, on the video that you can that you can do. All right, do this one on your own because I want to move on, guys, with the grammar. Uh, with the grammar um exercise, okay? Okay, guys. So um. <clears throat> There are some exercises, guys, that I, I want you to do from the platform, okay? So today, guys, uh, well, not today, but by tomorrow, guys, I need you to send me a screenshot that you finished section number one, right? So let's jump right into the grammar topic for today, all right? So what do you used to do when you were a child, okay? Everybody repeat. What did you used to do when you were a child? What did you used to do what when you were a child? What did you used to do when you were a child? All right. Now, remember that, guys, that we can use liaisons right and instead of saying what did you what do you all right what do you use repeat what do you use i mean what do you what do you use actually to... never mind that guys because you're using what did you do okay just say it like that what did you do to you uh what did you used to do when you were a child mm -hmm. all right the what reason, the reason why i guess is because because we're using you know the final consonant here so never mind that what did you used to do when you were a child all right let me hear you miguel what do you used to do when you were a child? All right, dead, right? Very good, okay. All right, Ellie, let me hear you. What do you used to do when you were a child? Okay, child? dead, dead you, right? Dead you, right? Yeah. What did you used to do when you were a child? Okay, child. All right, guys, so now, this is the grammar topic for today, okay? Uh, help me read the first, help me read the usage, okay? What, what, uh, what we use this for, Miguel? Over here. Okay. Used to and would can be both be used to describe past actions or situations which are no longer true. However, would cannot be used with stative verbs such as live, be, have, or like. All right, stative, okay, stative verbs. Repeat stative, stative. verbs. Stative verbs. Stative verbs, okay. All right, very good, guys, okay. Now, keep this in mind, guys. Please, please, please write it down in your notebook. Leave, be, have, or like cannot be used, all right, with would. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna see about that in a moment, okay? All right, guys, so uh, let's read the first example. Um, Ellie. Ellie, 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 you, let's go. You always used to make me laugh? Laugh, repeat laugh. laugh. Okay, you, you always used you to always make me laugh. You always used to make me laugh. 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 All right, very good. Right, that GF is pronounced like an F. Laugh. You, you always, always, right? you always used to make me laugh. Repeat. You always used to make me laugh. 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 Yes, if you, if it sounds like you're saying love, and that's another thing, laugh. right? All right, very good. All right, so you always used to make me laugh. Now, guys, uh, let me ask you something. Does this sound? 
So we, we, we use used to, guys. We're going to see the usage of do, okay? But I want you to understand, guys, that do you, do you think that this sounds like something repetitive in the past or something that, that you know, finished already? Something that is not going on anymore, but used to happen a lot. Okay, all right. it was a repetitive action, right? It was a repetitive action in the past, okay? Very good, all right. Uh, second example, Miguel, how do read? Classes didn't used to be so difficult. Okay, classes didn't used to be so difficult. All right. Now, uh, does this sound, Ellie, do you think that this sounds like something that used to happen um, repeatedly, repeatedly in the past or, or something that just happened once? What do you think? Can you repeat me, please? Do you think that this sounds like something that happened once or something that happened oh. repeatedly in the past? You know, it used to be uh, the sentence of classes didn't used to be so difficult. Okay, all right. That, that, that Are okay. you talking about this, uh, this sentence? I'm talking about, yes, classes didn't used to be so difficult. I'm talking about, yes, I'm talking okay. about that. Uh, if I think if, it's, if it is something that used to happen or happen happening yet. <laughs> happen repeatedly. Do you think that that's something, that's something repeatedly. that happened repeatedly or something that didn't used to happen? Uh, I mean, that's something that happened just once. And no, this is something that is happening. Okay. All right. Classes didn't used to be so difficult, right? Um, what do you think, Miguel? Repeatedly or something that happened once? Um, actually, I think it's something that didn't happen in the past. Okay. <laughs> All right. Actually, no. They, they have, it happened, okay? Because classes used to be... They happen I mean, to classes be are, are difficult now, right? Difficult. Okay, but classes used to be easy. All right. So, uh, but we're gonna get there, okay? All right, now, uh, next example, um, Ellie, help me read. Remember the way? Ah, <laughs> uh, remember the way? Wait, remember the way we will sit around talking? Okay, very remember, good, okay. Remember the way we will sit around talking? Okay, right now, repeated repeated action in the past, or 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 um, or an action that already finished. What do you think? It's an action that already finished. It's a no, guys. It's a repeated. It's a, it's a repeated action. Okay, we would sit around talking. Okay, that you, that means that okay, so almost every day they would sit. You know, all right. Well, we don't actually know this the frequency, but they would when they were younger, right? Uh, or when they like in the past guys, okay, they they would sit around talking, okay? All right, that is something that happened repeatedly, not only once. That's the point, okay? Very good. Uh next example. Um let let's go. Um let's go, Miguel. I will see some great jacket, but you won't let me buy it. All right, very good. Okay, so I would see some great jacket jacket, but you wouldn't let me buy it. Okay. All right. So is this something that would happen repeatedly or something that happened once? What do you think? I think it's a repeated action because- Very good, good job, man. Uh -huh. Well, in this case, it has been shown that in the past, he tries to get a great jacket, but not a load. Okay, very good. He All wasn't right. a look. Good job. So we're gonna see. The, let's take a look, guys, at, at uh, basically the, you know, the the example. One of the examples itself. Okay. All right, guys. So if the sentence, okay, if the sentence is affirmative, then we use what? Used to. Okay, we use used to, guys. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, actually, this let me let me go with this first. Okay. All right, guys. So used to and would help me read, Ellie. 
used to and would can express an action that was repeated regularly in the past. Very good job, okay. An action that was regularly repeated in the past. But there is an exception, guys. Okay, what is that exception? Um, what, 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 what is that exception, Miguel? Uh huh. Sorry, uh, I had a little bit of an issue. Okay. It can so only, but it can only, huh? But only can be used to describe a situation that existed in the past. Okay, very good, guys. But it's used, guys, to describe only, only used to, guys, can be used to describe a situation that existed in the past. Meaning that if it was not a repeated action, guys, you're not going to use would. Got it? Got it, Ellie? Yeah. All right, if it is not a repeated, a repeated action, you're not going to use would, okay? All right. Now, write that down, guys. Write that down, okay? All right. If a sentence, guys, is affirmative, we're going to use used, okay? Example, help me read the example. Um, Miguel? Hello, hello, Miguel. Sorry. Sorry, Mike was off. I used to get up at 7 every, at seven every morning. It likes the a.m. <laughs> Very good, okay. I used to get up at 7 every morning, okay? Now, notice something, guys. Is this a repeated action or uh, is this a repeated action or an action that happened only once? What do you think, Ellie? Um, maybe just once because he used to get in. No, it's I not. Know, I, know, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Uh, I'll try to understand it, Ellie. All right, uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get more examples somewhere. All right, Miguel, what do you think? It's a former habit, so it's something that happened repeatedly in the past. Very good. Okay, guys, when we talk about habits, okay, we know that something repeats, right? Very good job. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right, what about the second example? Um, help me read, Ellie. In the sentence, is negative use. Didn't pose use. If the sentence is negative, use. Didn't pose use to or would pose not. Very good time. job. Okay. Uh -huh. I didn't use to. Um, I didn't use to oversleep so often. Very good. I will. Okay. Can, uh, continue. Continue. I wouldn't oversleep so often. I wouldn't oversleep so often. Repeat, I wouldn't oversleep so often. I will I will not oversleep so often. I wouldn't. Repeat, wouldn't. Wouldn't. All right, very good. Okay, I wouldn't oversleep so often. All right, now, uh, let me ask you something, guys. Are these repeated actions, even though they're negative, are these repeated actions? What do you think, Miguel? Sort of. Yeah, yes, they are, guys. An action. It's an action that... Think about it, guys. It didn't happen as uh, often. But no, but it is a repeated action, guys, okay? Repeated, mm -hmm. okay? Both of them, guys, both this one, okay, and these ones, and this one um, um, are repeated actions. Okay, why? Why are they repeated actions? All right, think about the positive side of it, guys. How would you say this is positive? If I say I didn't use to oversleep so often, then what is what is the reality, right? What is the positive, right? I oh. used to wake up early often. Very good. I used to wake up early often, right? And it is a repeated action, okay? All right. Now, let's take a look at our own examples, guys, so you can, you can figure it out on your own, all right? Let's see... All right, guys, so let's take a look at this, for example, okay? All right, and then you're going to give me your own examples. All right, so if I say, guys, okay, uh, let's talk about a repeated action, okay? Okay, Ellie, tell me something that, that you used to do when you were a kid. Just the action, just tell me the action. 
I used to play with um, with Arcia. How do you say Arcia? I used to play with Clay. All right, very good. I used right. to play with Clay. All right, I um, used to play with Clay. Uh huh. Um. No, you start. <laughs> okay, now, now, guys, very good. Okay, so the structure, guys. Okay, let's talk about the structure. It goes like this. All right, write it down if you if uh, write it down actually, guys. Okay. So for a for a positive sentence, you use okay subject plus what, Miguel? Used to. Plus used to. Plus what else? The action. All right. Uh, what do you mean the action? The verb. The verb. The verb in what form, guys? Mm. The verb in base form, okay? All right. Uh, notice that, guys, because you do have to use the verb in base form, okay? All right. I, uh, I did use to, or I play, okay, and then you got the complement, okay? All right. So this is the structure for the positive, uh, for a positive sentence, okay? What about negative, guys? What is the structure for a negative sentence? What do you think? Subject. What else, uh, Ellie? Ellie? Um, <laughs> the verb, the and past participle. <laughs> the verb in past <laughs> The verb in negative. What is the verb in negative? Um. I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> okay. All right, let's pay attention then, right? Very good, all right. Uh, so, Miguel, what else? What comes after? Subject plus didn't plus... Didn't, used very to. good. Plus used to. Why do we use... Why do you think that we use used to instead of used to, guys, in the past? Because you are using um, and and work that I don't remember how to say how how do you how the do past you say form in the didn't. Okay, all right. The reason why I guess is because we have an auxiliary here, right? The auxiliary oh, changes okay. the subject, auxiliary. right, to the base form, right? Okay, so I auxiliary. did use to plus what else? Verb in base Verbing form. Verb in base form plus. plus Okay, plus compliment, okay? All right, so far so good? So far so good, Ellie? Yeah. All right, very good, very good, okay? All right, guys, um, so there you have the structure, okay? So now, let's take a look at some examples, guys. All right, so tell me, okay, give, you know what? Send me your own examples before we leave, guys. Send me your own examples in the chat box, okay? So I want you to tell me about things that you used to do when you were a kid. They used to, uh, they used to play uh, with marbles. They used to play with dolls. What do you they used to do? So for example, I can say, uh, my mom would always take me to the movies when I was a kid. All right? Was that was this a repeated action, guys? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh, can I say I would uh, often live with my parents? Can I say this? Is this correct? I don't know. What do you think, Miguel? Um, actually, I think I, I will use, use to in that one. Very good. Okay. Why? It's not a repeated action, but it's... And also, and also, there is a state that this is a stated verb. Remember? Mm -hmm. All right. There, that's okay. So we don't use would with with stated verbs. Okay. All right. Very good. I used to. Right. I used to live with my parents. Got it? All right. Very good. All right. Send me your examples, guys. Okay. What are some of the things that you used to do when you were kids? All right, uh, meanwhile, let's see, Miguel, tell me, what do you used to do when you were a kid? I used, and I will 
spend a lot of time watching TV when I was a, a little kid. Very good. Okay, so I would spend a lot of time watching TV, right, when I was a kid. Good job, right? Ellie, give me uh, your example. Keep, send, keep sending me examples, guys, okay? All right, what is something that uh, you used to do when you were a kid? I used to do orange juice, but with salt. Orange. I used, to, I used to do orange juice, you mean? I used to make, I, I don't okay. know. I used to make, okay, I used to make orange juice. With salt. Repeat, now. repeat. I used to make orange juice. I used to make orange juice. With salt. With salt. Okay, all right. Orange juice with salt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, very good. That's weird. All right, very good. Uh, Miguel, give me another one. All right, let, let's talk about... Uh, the, you know. used, I used to dislike rock music when I was little. I used to dislike rock music when I was little. Okay, good job. All right, now, give me an example with wood. Uh, by the way, guys, when you use wood, all right, wood is often used with a frequency adverb. With what, guys? Plus what, guys? Frequency adverb. Frequency adverb. What is a frequency adverb? Always, mm -hmm. usually, often. What else? Mm -hmm. What else, guys? Rarely. Rarely, all right, so on and so forth, right? Et cetera. Got it? So I would always, I would usually, I would often, right? Because it, it, it talks about a repeated action in the past. All right, very good. Uh, so Miguel, let's go. Give me another one. You see, used to. I mean, uh, wood. Wood plus. I will seven. often. Very good. No, I will often spend my afternoons studying. Studying. Repeat studying. Studying. All right, very studying. good. All right, Ellie, give me another example with wood. Mm. You can do it. You can do it. Don't worry, right? Relax. I don't know what to say. Uh, I would. Uh, I would. Let's start with I would. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I would. Um, I would often. Uh, um, I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know what kind, what kind of phrase to use. Something that you used to do, it's the same thing. Listen, when you say would often, it's the same as saying used to. Got it? The same okay. thing, Ellie, okay? All right. So let's go. Mm, going to my grandma's uh, house. I would often, or I follow the examples that we have before. I would often. Did you write down, mm. did you write down the structure, Ellie? No, I can't write There now. you go. All right, very good. I would often. Follow the examples then. I don't remember. Follow the examples. I'm trying to follow the example, but I don't know what kind of word to use. To use. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, you need to use a verb in base form. Yeah, but I don't know what to say. Just, I just don't think about often. any verb. There are like a million verbs. Think about one. <laughs> I only need Forget. One. I would often forget, okay, forget about what? My lessons, English lessons. My, my English lessons. Good job, okay, good job, guys, and applause for you. Good, good, good job, okay? All right, uh, Miguel, I used to play with Beyblade tops when I was little, around when I, when I was, around when I was eight. Oh. Uh, that preposition doesn't go there. When I was eight or eight, I used to really be into Beyblades. I was always a drawing characters from the movies. I really, I remember I really used to like Pirates of the Caribbean, okay? I really used to like, remember, that's a stated verb, right? Uh, so that's that's okay. All right, very good, guys. The first, uh, the first very good, guys. Very good, okay? 
All right, guys. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Do me a favor. Remember to send a screenshot of the completion from the section number one, right? I got another class right now. Now, guys, enjoy your Andy. Friday. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay, Lee. Don't worry. And I'll see you. I'll see you Monday, right? See you guys. Okay. Take Bye. care. Good night. Good night. Bye.